Okay, well, this is a uh, very rich program. Each session has been loaded with uh, new things and actionable items. And now we turn on the third panel to the subject of reward mechanisms and risk-taking behavior. These are clearly the substrate for the drivers of addiction at a time when addiction is front and center in our society. So I turn it over to uh, Peggy Hamburg as the moderator of this program. I think we've got the format down cold now. Uh, <laughs> looking forward to all of your comments. Thank you. And I think we all are increasingly aware of the devastating toll of this problem. Provisional estimates suggest that close to 65,000 Americans died from a drug overdose in 2016, representing an astounding 21% increase from the previous year and nearly an eightfold increase over the past 37 years. So it's time to take note, it's time to act. I think that uh, most of the data suggests that this enormous escalation in recent years is due to the broad class of uh, opioid drugs, their misuse and abuse. And I think we all also recognize that the numbers don't fully capture the, the devastating burden of this problem and that, you know, we all both professionally and personally, I think, have been touched by this terrible epidemic as well. Gillett actually said, why don't you begin with a clinical vignette? I decided not to do that because, in all honesty, I haven't put hands on a patient in decades, um, <laughs> except when I'm on an airplane and they call for a doctor and nobody else <laughs> stands up. Um, but I also think that the faces and the voices of those um, affected and those lost um, by addiction and substance abuse are really quite diverse and one vignette does not really capture um, the problem before us. So, so what's to be done? That's what we're going to uh, hopefully be able to address building on evidence, data, perspectives um, that will be in part laid out during this session um, and reflecting the incredible expertise of our, of our distinguished panel. Clearly, we have to recognize the fact that like many health challenges, addiction and substance abuse reflects a complex interplay of influence and forces. Uh, effective actions to turn the tide will really require us to recognize that, to integrate, and to build. We have to understand the nature and scope of the problem as well as the factors that fuel it, the biology of addiction and neurophysiologic mechanisms and susceptibility, the nature of pain and how to manage or treat it, both in its acute and its chronic forms. We must understand the interplay of life stress and vulnerability along with exposure. We must better define who's at risk, what are the most powerful risk factors, and how to prevent or reduce them. Clearly also we're going to have to work across disciplines and across sectors, healthcare delivery, importantly including addiction treatment and services and mental health, but every component of the healthcare system, public health, social and community-based services from counseling to child support and programs to prevent or reduce adverse events of childhood, education, housing, public safety, economic development, and economic opportunity as well. It is a complex challenge. The panel after us, the President's uh, Forum, is going to really grapple with these challenging policy issues. But with this session, we hope to sort of lay the table in terms of, um, of many of the important questions, concerns, and what do we know, how can we apply it? Um, looking at what are the trends and the risk factors, 
what are the underlying mechanisms of addiction, reward, pain, and its treatment, and the complex interplay of brain behavior, experience, and exposure across the lifespan, but especially in early life. So I'm joined with really a terrific panel of scientists and uh, speakers. I'll just introduce them briefly since you have their more extensive bios in your packets. Um, first will be um, Chris Jones, the Acting Associate Deputy Assistant Secretary um, in the Office of the Assistant Secretary for Planning and Evaluation. And he's going to start us off uh, with a broad epidemiologic overview of the opioid epidemic that's uh, so devastating to our nation and put it in the context as well of past drug crises. Then we're going to turn to Nora Volkow, who I think is well known to all of you for her leadership and scientific work. And she's going to talk to us about the biology of addiction and reward circuitry. Then next will be Valerie Reyna, who comes to us from Cornell University. And she's going to be uh, providing us with insights into how brain and behavioral development from childhood to adolescence can influence risky decision making and susceptibility to addiction. And then our, our final speaker will be um, Dr. Howard Gutstein uh, from the University of Pittsburgh. And he's going to finish off our uh, session's presentations on what sounds like a very positive note, um, the opioid epidemic, how what we already know can help us 